Hello my friend and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a minute since I've made a video, but today is going to be talking about the new Suray Nightwalker 16mm and 75mm editions, and I won't keep you too long. I've been taking a bit of a break off of YouTube and it's been harder to get back in the saddle than I expected it to be. So this video is a helpful start because I've already reviewed these lenses. About six months ago or so, maybe a little longer now, Suray sent me a set of the first series of Nightwalker lenses, which was a 24, a 35, and a 55 millimeter. And now they are adding a 16 and a 75 millimeter to that same set of T1.2 Nightwalker series cinema lenses, declicked geared rings, both the focus and the aperture. And this video is gonna be really short because these are the same lenses. It's the same glass, it's the same character, it's the same body and build. They have kept everything amazingly consistent, which is exactly what you want from a complete set of cinema lenses. So, honestly, I'm gonna tell you that you should watch my first review video. I'm gonna link it somewhere around here. My friend Blaze Pivovar and myself collaborated on that review video because I do a lot of run and gun, travel work, wedding work, things like that. Cinema lenses aren't typically my go-to. I like the Siru, Suray Sniper series of lenses, uh, which I recorded some of the B-roll for this video with, but those lenses are automatic focusing, which is a bit better for my workflow. So the Nightwalker lenses have not found their way into my workflow quite as much, but Blaze loves working with them, so we decided on this review video that we would collaborate again. So if you go look at his review video, you will see some of the same footage in our reviews. So I'm gonna put that all throughout this video, and I'm gonna tell you, this review is very short. I still love the character. I still love the flares. I love everything that comes with them that is cinema, and I know that that is maybe an overused term, but everything about them that isn't quite perfect, that isn't quite what you get from every other lens or every lens that's aiming for clinical perfection. And granted, that's gonna happen with faults as well. And especially at this price point, there is not, there's not gonna be the same amount of coatings on the glass. And so you're gonna get the chromatic aberration that causes red flaring. And you're gonna get a little bit of, um, in the back focus, you're gonna get a little bit of distortion or chromatic aberration that changes color as you focus, as you move your focus point. So in the foreground, I think, is it pink? And in the background is blue. I can't remember, but there's these weird quirks and things like that that you don't get on a lot of other glass. And especially myself who loves using, back here is my Sigma 18 to 35. It's just so clinically perfect. But with these lenses, they are imperfect and I love to use them. So the 16 and the 75 millimeter round out this set really well. You now have everything from 16, 24, 35, 55, and 75 at T1.2 in a consistent body form so that you don't have to adjust. If you have a whole rig set up with a follow focus and geared for your aperture, you can leave everything exactly as it is, mount up a new lens and keep on shooting quickly. If you have matte boxes rigged up, the uh, front diameter is the same. Everything about these lenses is what you want from a set of cinema lenses, not to mention the minimal focus breathing because of the things that are in the budget category where you make a budget trade-off, focus breathing, that huge disruptive viewing experience to me is one of the things I would want to have in a budget series of lenses. And so I'm thankful that the Nightwalkers have really well controlled focus breathing and they made some compromises in some areas that I think visually improve the characteristics of the glass. So that's literally all I have for this video. It's been really great. I think Suray is doing innovative things at an affordable price point, which is why I continue to work with them, why I make these videos about them. It's not because I'm getting anything more than that. I just want people to know about it. So for Fuji users, especially I think for Fuji users, but I'll let all the other brands speak for themselves. I think that this currently is the best value of cinema lenses available. 
This whole thing has been recorded on the 16 mil, uh, and that's that's been on the camera this whole time. So, more videos to come. Uh, the XS20 review that I've been promising for a long time will be coming very soon. So, stick around the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, friend. Peace.